Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK. We're out foraging again and we've found some really beautiful mushrooms to show you. They're not ones that we're going to be taking home for the pot, but they're very, very interesting mushrooms nonetheless. And down here is where the group begins. You can see these beautiful red mushrooms with sort of off-white, yellowish spots all over the cap probably the most recognized mushroom in the world and there's more of them <laughs> and more and up here the ring continues here's a, a nice young one actually this red and white mushroom as I say is probably the most recognized mushroom in the world the Amanita muscaria oh, and here's an even younger one the Amanita family as you should all know, if you're going out foraging, contains some of the most deadly mushrooms in the world. This is not one of those highly deadly mushrooms, but it is classed as a deadly mushroom nonetheless. Um, this little egg type of one we've got here, the very young version, is why we tell people to cut every puff ball in half, because you can see at that stage, it resembles a puff ball then it will start to open out and you get this beautiful mushroom here's a lovely one down here and another one here this is second stage of growth it's coming up from the egg sac it started as and then we've got all oh, stages of growth here this is the most mature one you can see it'll open up flat and that's probably about 15 centimeters in diameter and i've seen them much bigger than that even and here we've got a little cluster with some medium sized ones and this one that was broken. So I'll use him to show you a few more of the features. White gills, every one of the Amanita family has white gills. So if you're a novice forager, white gills are a bit of a danger sign. Most Amanitas, but not all, have a skirt on the stem. That's where the cap used to be attached to the stem as you can see on these ones here. And as it breaks away, it leaves that skirt on the stem. Now, this one that's been knocked over also shows another feature of most of the Amanita family, a big bulbous base, the remnants of that egg sac that this beautiful mushroom burst through. Now, uh, this is a mushroom that I'm sure most of you know is uh, eaten recreationally, probably in university campuses all up and down the country, most weekends, but that is not something that we'd recommend. The um, psychoactive compounds in this mushroom are ibotenic acid and muscimol. They're the ones that make people hallucinate, but there's also a potentially deadly poison in these mushrooms. It's called muscarin, and in uh, any sort of reasonable quantity, muscarin is very, very bad for you. The thing with these mushrooms is you never know how much of any of those compounds is in the mushroom before you eat it. So they are a risky mushroom to eat. There are other uses for them though. This is a mushroom that uh, its common name is the fly agaric. The Amanita muscaria is its scientific name. Uh, the fly agaric, it gets that name because people used to use it to kill flies. You can crush it up and put it in some milk, leave it on the, leave it on the side, and flies will be attracted to it and, uh, and it will kill them. So that's why it got the name fly agaric. It is not an agaric mushroom. That's a, a misnomer, if you like. The agaric family of mushrooms are very different to this. Um, it's uh, a mushroom that's featured in lots of fairy tales. We think it's the mushroom that Alice in Wonderland uh, was uh, sort of revolved around. And uh, there's also another funny story about this mushroom because it's a mushroom that reindeer absolutely love to eat. They'll uh, love to follow reindeer herders around if, if they've got this mushroom. And, and the reindeer herders use this mushroom to help control their reindeer herds. I've heard that there's a trading boundary um, somewhere on the, uh, in the Northern Hemisphere where the mushrooms don't grow any further north and they'll swap bags of this mushroom for the reindeer uh, with the other reindeer tribes around Lapland. And uh, there, uh, there are stories about some of the reindeer herders. Uh, what they do is they'll feed this mushroom to their reindeer who 
I've seen some videos do look like they have a bit of a fun time on the mushroom but uh, what the reindeer herders will do is then they'll drink the urine of those reindeer because the uh, the liver of the reindeer will get rid of all of the muscarin and the muscamol and the ibotenic acid I think pass straight through so they drink that for their shamanic experiences and I just like to think that because it's a, a nice red and white mushroom and uh, we're talking about reindeer herders tripping off their faces I've uh, have a sneaky suspicion that that might be where the story of Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer might have come from I'll let you think about that though anyway it's not an edible mushroom but if you want to find out more go to www.wildfooduk.com <laughs>